Hello again, a new project, an old idea. Let me try to retune these amazing nice Rock 8 dB antenna. I already look at this mama, it's damn big. Let me measure this, 88 centimeters. Okay, it's not this one, I got to, oh yeah, it's this guy. And because today I have some spare time, I'll uh, try to start dismantling the antenna and to start rebuilding the elements. So this antenna, it's uh, for LoRa helium mining, but LoRa generally, and uh, it's for 915 megahertz the American standard look here we have it 900 to 930 and uh, I want to dismantle these elements here and start rebuilding the whole antenna you know why because I need to make these elements longer I want to tune it to 868 so if you remember, if it's longer, the frequency is lower. So then we have to measure and calculate the new dimension of the tubes. I'm sure we can apply the same uh, formulas like uh, collinear coaxial antenna. And in this case, we have a velocity factor of 0 0.66. Then we can calculate how long the elements should be but you know it's kind of difficult because these brass tubes they are very very good thermal conductor so you really need a strong iron soldering iron and let me tell you something TS100 this little guy it's damn strong it's unbelievable strong Okay, we are out there. Well, I'm not sure, but TS100 can go up to 60 watts. And this is pretty okay for, for a small device like this. It's amazing. I have to be careful because I don't want to destroy these plastic things. They are really, really nice and very important for later use. Yes, done, oh, easy. Okay, this is okay. Now I have to take this out too. But this is a very stiff plastic, so the single way to do it is to to um, okay let me try like this to take some of this soldiering off I'm sorry but this is the single way I can do it and there we are this is the middle. This is looking like a coaxial cable something. It will be really difficult to find this kind of cable. Okay, but this is step one for today. And let me see what we got here. We are on zero, yes. So now the tubes are one, zero, five. Okay, 105 millimeters for 900 to 930. And let's consider 950, the middle frequency. Okay, so we have 300, that's the speed of light. In fact, 300,000 divided by 950. This is the middle, the middle frequency of the antenna. Okay. 
then times 300 divided by 950 then times 0 0.5 and times 0 0.66 the velocity factor and that gives me 108 millimeters pretty close of 105 so I think the velocity factor in our case it's less than 0 0.66 so it's maybe 0 0.62 let's see 644 almost there so velocity factor it's like 0 0.644 hmm? that's a good question okay let's so in, in my case I need 300 divided by 868 times 0 0.5 172 millimeters times uh, 0 0.644 I should have the elements 111 millimeters long so I have to add 6 millimeter to each of this element well that's not a problem the single problem I see what I can do with this one maybe I'll use some hot glue or maybe I should try to find some cable like this how much is this inside 8.9 so uh, finally here I need your help people so this antenna is from 900 to 930 megahertz okay and for this let's call it middle frequency 915 the elements now the tubes here are 105 millimeters how long should it be for 868 megahertz because my after my opinion this is 0 066 velocity exactly like coaxial cable it's a tube of course but it behaves like a it behaves like a coaxial isn't that maybe I'm wrong and if I'm consider that 166 velocity 0 0.66 most of the coaxial you know have this kind of velocity factor okay so then we have 300 divided by 868 times 0 0.5 and this one times 0 0.66 and that gives me 114 millimeters 114 it's almost one centimeter difference here first phase somehow I need your help for this how can I found the length of these tubes at for 668 megahertz and also I got something here you know the other one this tube here this one it's like 41.4 minus one millimeter probably yes it's one millimeter so we have like 40.4 for in the end of the element here and this is in the middle goes to the ground so the end of the element doesn't fit in any scenario the whole one it's 105 and the end is 40 okay so this is the first step I'm waiting your comments and uh, I really need your help with this one I can figure it out that's the way it's looking it's a brass tube with a plastic dielectric something let me see your opinion about okay Thank you and see you later. Don't forget to have fun. Bye bye.